Hello friends, and welcome to another video. So usually on this channel we go to strange parts of Tumblr, but recently I found myself on a strange side of Pinterest, um, and it made me feel a type of way. So today I'm going to share with you, what would you even call it, relatable teen starter packs sort of thing. I know starter packs are, like I've seen them around the internet in the past, but I had no idea that there was, there was such a wealth of them on Pinterest, um, and that they all look exactly the same. Also, I know I'm gesturing like this and I'm gonna have to explain my screensaver, but it's this cat. But before we get into me feeling absolutely ancient at the age of 21, I would like to tell you a little bit about this week's sponsor, Native. This video is sponsored by a lovely company called Native. I had no idea if they meant to send me this much deodorant or if the order went through twice. Native is a personal care brand that creates products that are meant to be better for your body. Everything they make is vegan and cruelty free as well as free of aluminum, parabens, and sulfates. I have started making my way through this absolute haul of deodorant, starting with the charcoal one, um, and it works great. I definitely far prefer the texture to that of regular deodorant. There's something just nicer about it. The other two kinds that I got in addition to the charcoal are the cucumber and mint and the coconut vanilla and we know I love a sponsor that'll pay me to smell like a fruit. So if you'd like to try any of these out, you can go check out Natives Build Your Own Deodorant Pack. They will send you your three top picks from all of the different kinds that they have, as they did for me. And they do carry more than just deodorant. You can get all natural toothpastes, body washes, and soaps delivered to your door with free shipping. Oh yes. So go check out Native. There's a link in the description below and you can get 20% off your first Build Your Own Deodorant Pack using my code, which will be around. And back to the video. All right, let's start with a pretty simple one here. Popular girls at my school, asterisks, always hooking up with guys. So she wears clothes and shoes and she vapes and has a probably a stalker because that's a concerning amount of text messages. This is the girl I want to be. Self-care, clear skin, actually awake at school, acrylics. Love to be a person in the world who wears clothes and shoes and eats cucumbers. And yogurt? I think that's yogurt. What would you call this aesthetic? I, I don't know, man, that's a uh, person <laughs> who exists. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, I, I feel like there is a science to this that I need to decipher. Why? How do we assign meaning to different lip gloss brands? You know what I mean? Oh, Scorpio as a person. Independent. Sad. TM. Has really good music taste. I can see s who is texting you? I can see straight through you. I'm only somewhat called out by this. I sure as heck don't listen to the Beatles and then call it has really good music taste. Um, but I am guilty of wearing black. I'm wearing my merch today, but it is black. Speaking of which, I have merch. You can wear it on your body. It's This sweater is really comfy and warm and I am freezing my ass off in my apartment today because it's negative 10 degrees outside. Unmotivated teen who only leaves their house for school. Oh god, the caption is, after watching Shane's newest video, I'm questioning everything. Is everyone I know a sociopath? <laughs> no, that was just bad psychology. <laughs> Ways to make a bad day better. Put on chapstick. Listen to your favorite bops. Reorganize your school supplies, room, desk, etc. Drink H2O, please. Just a little sodium chloride. I'm supposed to take a nap and get enough sleep. Go out and spend time in nature. Go get a smoothie bowl. Do a face mask. Spend time with my friends all in one day. That sounds stressful, okay? That, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> New year, better me. I'm gonna focus on school. Tell people I love them. What does that have to do with... What is that? Lip gloss? I'm a hip teen, I know things. The popular girl in middle school we all wanted to be and hated. You're trying to tell me that this girl is in middle school? That is not who I wanted to be in middle school. I just wanted to wear these really ugly fishnet gloves I got from Claire's, but my mom wouldn't let me because she thought it was a fetish thing. That's who I wanted to be in middle school. <laughs> what I thought I'd be like at 15. Oh god, that's kind of sad. Know how to do makeup. Have a boyfriend. Lots of parties. Lots of friends. Pretty somehow. <laughs> I got an ad for a new Kids Bop album, okay. The girl I wanna be. I'm getting a really good idea of what basic is to kids these days. If I was a YouTuber, okay. Always vlogging and hashtag vlogmas, oh boy. We're off to a start. Always collabing, room tours, free meet and greets, new videos every week. Listen, don't call me out like this. <laughs> 
My upload schedule's been bad and we all know, okay? Makeup tutorials, DIYs, always have my dog in my videos. Hang up these. Oh, the plaques. The These plural implies that you have over a million subscribers, so good job. I, I'm but a peasant with my one lowly plaque, which I don't even keep in my room. Trends that I actually like and have interest in. Excuse me, young child, is that a cigarettes? It's markers, I, I don't, but to be fair, I don't know what the kids are smoking these days. Who I am versus who I want to be. Kind of lazy, bitch, what the fuck? I don't like coffee. Peachy feelings. What does that mean? Edgier style. Keep up with journaling. Drink more water. I mean, this is the first one of these that I can actually kind of relate to. After a breakup starter pack. Reminder, stop thinking about him. He's not thinking about you. Broken trust. A license plate that says, I am sad. She eats food. She wears shirts. No pants though, I guess it's more of an ass out kind of look. I mean, you do you, everyone copes with breakups differently. September as a teen. Fuck you. <laughs> I need food. I mean, no shit. I'm not trying to pull some like, bullshit shaming teenage girls thing. I think these are these are harmless and funny. I'm just fascinated by them because I don't know anyone who is in high school anymore. So I'm disconnected from this whole world. And obviously I know this isn't any sort of like genuine representation of what it's like in high school. It's it's the idealized version. It's what's trendy. It's what kids aspire to be. And I find that interesting as well. This one just says what I have become. She's got clothes. She has keys and lip balm in her pocket and 20 bucks. It's the pills that get me though. There's, there's an implication that this is antidepressants or something like that. Cause I have found a lot of these have to do with like the sort of, I want to die Gen Z kind of humor. When I like to procrastinate, I like to write nothing matters in giant letters across my notes, then do some laundry, chug a gallon of milk, um, and eat some ramen. This one just says, what do you do with a broken heart once the light fades? Everything is dark. <laughs> and it's just a picture of various beige articles of clothing. What does this mean? Tell me, trendy young people, what the fuck does this mean? Trying to be less of a mess mentally and in regards to my appearance. Okay. A lot of these are very like, they acknowledge the fact that they're aspirational and they're very self care focused. It does, it is a little bit, counterproductive that self-care has so much to do with buying certain products and certain brands and looking a certain way and not, you know, be just being nice to yourself on a daily basis. I don't know. This is such a weird, obscure, strange part of Pinterest. I don't actually think that anybody thinks like this, or I'm sure some people do, but I'm not like, this is a plague amongst our children. Um, you know? Um, I didn't even really know what was hip with the teens when I was a teen because I went to a school with like 200 students run by nuns. And also I was even within that school was kind of a weirdo who only talked to four people. So naturally, I knew a lot about what was going on on Tumblr. Me at school, I bring my own lunch. Wow, I actually did pull a, like, a thing that I feel like someone who makes these would. I bought myself this cute little bento box to try and motivate myself to pack decent lunches for school instead of like, just a weird assortment of snacks thrown into the bottom of my backpack, you know? Um, but that doesn't always happen considering that I am sitting here filming a video instead of getting ready for class. Along with lip balm and clothes and eating food, like being lazy and depressed seems to be pretty trendy right now. And I mean, that's concerning, but it's something that I'm definitely more familiar with. I think it affects the college age group that I am in right now a lot as well. Morning routine. Wake up, have some coffee, put on a mediocre outfit, be on my phone. It's cause you be on that phone. It's the ones like this where I'm like, why, why did somebody make this? Why celebrate the aesthetic of being a normal person who wakes up? This is what I look like at school if you wanted to know. Crying, listening to music, drinking out of that water bottle that is trendy, wearing clothes and shoes. That is probably a thing that you should do at school. So these are the ones I understand a little bit more because it's like, these are clearly defined aesthetics and it kind of has the same appeal of like those like personality test sort of things where it's just like, <laughs> that's me. But 
So these I get more. It's the ones that are just like, this is how I feel when I cry at 3 a.m. that concern me slightly. Trendy teen versus relatable teen. There's a difference now. Thrifty style, skincare, full face every day. Hydro flask, that's what it's called. Photogenic, so there's the difference between trendy and relatable. Uh, being photogenic is the least relatable thing I've ever heard in my life. Can't reproduce exactly the weird hole that I fell down when I first started looking at these, but there was one that was all about like, checkered stuff being really trendy. I wore my checkered pants in an attempt to be a hip teen. I'm honestly really happy to see like, Parts of, kind of, parts of emo style come back as like e-girl style or even trendy style. Checkered pants are in fashion. My Chemical Romance is coming back. 2020 is gonna be a phenomenal year. Change my mind. Which one is your side, right or left? I have a very hard time believing that these are mutually exclusive. They're- They're the same picture. It's usually those days where you just don't care. It is okay to be an actual disorganized mess who doesn't need an aesthetic for being a disorganized mess. That kind of defeats the purpose of accepting that sometimes you ain't cute. I feel like I have been educated on teen culture on this fine day. Uh, feel free to tell me that I am completely wrong and explain teen culture to me in the comments. Subscribe to my channel for updates on how many times I kill Bodacious. Um, and remember to buy my merch. <laughs> it's cool. I need to go now.